What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Sheep Kishir Podcast. We're here. We talk about people, politics, and popular culture. I'm your host, the one and only Austin Creed, and my friends, I'm on the road, actually, again, about, I'm busy and trying to get stuff done. My college started back up again. Stuff's just, look, this whole little, you know, mini episode's going to be about, life's a struggle. Life is hard, and for those of you, everybody has sold this lie that life is pleasant, life is easy, life is good, and maybe if it is for you, you know, you're a lucky person. You're the exception, you're not the norm. The the norm for us out here, especially us young guys, is life is a grind, life is difficult, and fundamentally, life sucks, you know, but life is a struggle. And it's really easy to live life in reverse. Wanna have all the good times when you're just a little, when you're a young person, you wanna have all the fun, you wanna get, go travel, you wanna fornicate, you wanna just, Live it up, you know, live up your young years. And I'm here to tell you, you're living life in reverse if you're doing that. Life, when you're young, you're supposed to struggle. I'll be honest with you guys. I struggle. I'm struggling right now. Trying to do everything that I can. Trying to get the show off the ground. Trying to work out every single day. Trying to make ends meet. It's tough out here, man. But that's good. Because that makes you rigid. And it makes you frigid to the harsh realities of the world. Because you kind of go through this, the five stages of grief when you first are ex- you're first exposed to the world and all of its nastiness and difficulties. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Too many people are sheltered too early. They're sheltered for too long. To like they're 25 or 23 or whatever, and it all hits them at one time, and they're out here like, well, it's so hard, I can't do it, and it's so difficult, and I can't do it, the government should just pay for it. And I gotta tell you, ladies and gentlemen of Sheep Kishir Podcast, it's not supposed to be easy, it's supposed to be hard. Life is difficult, and so when you make it, you have that sense of accomplishment. Trust me, I really work hard to get that sense of accomplishment, it's tough. You know, paying for college, trying to get the show off the ground and make investments, grind. It's tough. Life is a grind. Life is a struggle. And if you're struggling out there, you're not alone. Trust me, you're not alone. I'm right here with you on the front lines, fighting for the future. And so if you're out there struggling to make ends meet, you're down and out, you feel like you're down and out, you don't know what to do. You just, you feel like you can't cut it, you can't catch a break. Trust me, I know the feeling. I know it all too well. Like, I'm in a car making this video. I don't have fancy equipment. I don't have a whole PR firm behind me. It's just me in a car while I'm driving, trying to make a good episode for y'all. Well, just how real life is and how fast and how real it can get for you at a moment's notice. Because my friends, I care about you. I care about your future and I want you to constantly improve. Don't let the world break you. Don't let, don't give up on yourself. Do not let yourself get, buy into this garbage that life isn't worth it. I should just give up. I should just surrender. Never surrender. Never. I don't ever want to hear you say that. I tell myself that every day. Trying to do everything. You can't be everything to everybody. You gotta decide what matters to you and you pour yourself into what matters to you. Because if you don't, you're going to regret it. And if you try to be everything to everybody, you're going to be so exhausted, you're going to hate yourself. Don't do that. Because, my friends, for those of you who are younger and you haven't lived all that much of life yet, maybe you're a teenager and you're still in high school, or maybe you're in college and you haven't experienced what it is I'm talking about because I'm a little older because I went because I was in the military. Look, life is difficult. Life is full of difficult times. It's full of extremely hard circumstances and honestly life is just stress almost non-stop that's why it's surprising to me when people are like it's stress and i can't handle it and i have problems yeah everybody has problems it's not that to mean that you actually have a condition but trust me i understand life is stressful life is hard 
you look on Instagram, you look on TikTok, and you see these people who are younger and they're they're got the the bling bling ching and they're out here making all this money, and you think, God damn it, I wish I was them. This isn't fair. The government should redistribute the wealth. No, my friends. No, because I look. I guarantee you, if the government took all the wealth from all the rich people, and they gave it to you and to everybody else who didn't rightfully earn it, then the money would slowly trickle back to the hands that have that used to have it anyways. Because everybody would start out equally poor, equally broke, and then it would change over time, and it would be back exactly to where we started. Look at what happened with the stimulus check money. Oh, you forgot about that one, huh? I didn't. What'd you do with your stimulus check money? Oh, you probably threw it away on some garbage, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I, I look, no judgment. I I was tempted to do the same thing, but I didn't do it. You know what I did? I bought, I bought into crypto. That's what I did. What did you do? But it's the same, it's the same dang thing, my friends, because if you can't, if you can't, Use the money that you're, quote, getting for free? What are you going to do with your own money? Huh? That's all the whole free money thing is a scam and a fraud. My friends, I want you to understand that if you're struggling today listening to the show, you're not alone. I'm struggling right now. I have been struggling, and I will continue to struggle every day. But I want to let you know something. Those of us who struggle... The hardest and for the longest we become the most rigid and frigid people out here and we will not be snuffed out easily. You mark my words. You mark my words. You will not be snuffed out easily. We will get the last laugh. Life is full of phases and if you're in a grinding phase, if you're in a phase where life is just one suck after another and you feel like you can't take it anymore, you are not alone. Trust me when I tell you, you are not alone. Uh, look, I'm back on campus right now, and I look at the carefree people, the carefree girls, the, the dudes who are, are freshmen, and they have the twinkle in their eye of, I'm going to come out here, I'm going to make all this money, and I'm going to go to corporate America, and everything's going to be great, and I'm going to love it, and it's going to be fantastic. Yeah, those days are going away, my friends. Those of us who are out here trying to build something up from the ground, it's tough, man. It's tough, and I'm not here to complain. I'm not here to complain to y'all. I'm here to give you a reality check and to motivate you and to give you some inspiration. If you're in the same boat as me and you're trying to get off the ground. It took humanity a long time before the Wright brothers were able to crack the code on human flight. And in the same way it took humans a long time to learn how to fly, it's going to take you a long time to learn how to get your life off the ground. You're going to fall, you're going to go through hard times, you're going to be extremely frustrated. Extremely frustrated. But let me tell you, there is satisfaction in it as well. There is very deep satisfaction in grinding your behind off to get to a point where you look back and say to yourself, Yeah, I did that. Yeah, I worked my behind off and I got it. I did it. I paid my dues. That's why the whole thing about we should give it away to the illegal aliens, we owe them something. We owe them nothing. We owe them nothing. They suck the country dry. Look at your hospitals. Most people don't know anything about America, by the way. I'm going to get in a little tangent. Most people don't know anything about America. They think that, oh, the whites have all the money and, and, and they just hate everybody and the minorities don't have any money because the white people are evil. No. It's because everybody paid their dues. Somebody had to pay their dues with, from the bottom and work their way up to the top. They had to work their behinds off. They paid their dues. They had nothing. They went to something. They didn't just get some backhand deal and say, Hey, 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 you're white, right? Uh huh. Oh, okay, okay, awesome. Uh, uh, here's the money. And uh, yeah, uh, don't, 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 don't tell the, don't tell the minorities. Uh, but here's all the money. No, my friends, it didn't happen like that. It didn't happen like that at all. People paid their dues. They went from being broke bums to working at maybe have, uh, having a two point, you know, a three bedroom, two bath house in the suburbs with a car, two cars. They earned it. The family paid their dues. And I hate to see the government trying to take that away from people. 
because oh, is this not fair? We want we want equity. Anyways, I'm getting off the track here. I, I didn't come on to talk about politics tonight. I really didn't. I just wanted to let y'all brothers know that you're, if you're struggling and you're going through a grinding phase and you're just like, I need encouragement, well, this is your show. Save it. Share it with people. Because they're not alone. You're not alone. And I know I'm not alone. Certainly not. My friends, we will make it. If we refuse to give up and we keep pushing and grinding, we will make it. It is our right. It is our birthright. We will make it. If you refuse to lose, as Babe Ruth said, it's hard to beat someone who never gives up. It takes tremendous willpower to get to that point. But you can do it. I can do it. And I'm doing it right now. Heck, I was tempted not to do this show today. I was tempted to just go home, back to the dorm, chillax, and just be like, I'm tired, I had three classes today, I don't want to do this, I'm tired, you know, whatever, people will understand. But no, I decided to pull out my phone and make this show. Is it the highest quality show, maybe? I don't know. Probably not. But at the end of the day, my friends, it's all about that work ethic. It's about putting in that work. Because if you won't put in that work, I can guarantee you someone else is. And then you're going to look at that guy and be like, man, why did he make it and I didn't? This is garbage, man. This ain't fair. Well, you didn't see him when he was living out of his car. You didn't see him when he was putting in that work. You didn't see that, did you? No, you didn't. People see you when you're winning. No one's there for you when you're down bad, when you're building. No one's there for you. Nobody. You are alone. When, he, when you're struggling, you're alone, man. You are very alone. Do if you feel alone listening to the show, if you think that you're alone, you probably are. Because when you're grinding, when you're trying to build something from the ground up, yes, you are alone. I'm alone. But then that makes it that makes it worth it. It makes it worth it, my friends, when you finally make it and you can flash those nice things that you have that you earned by right. Not because the government gave it to you or stole it from somebody else, but because you earned it. Alright, my friends, I just made it back on campus. I'm back in my garage. I think I'll I'll think I'll end it here. I took a couple tangents I didn't really expect to make today, but all those tangents aside, I I hope you get the message of what I was trying to communicate on the show today. That life is a struggle. It's difficult. But I'm here to motivate you and know that you are not alone and we will make it together. We we will make it, my friends. We will make it. Anyways, God bless you. God bless your family and God bless America. Till next time, I'm out of here. Peace.